Hey guys, Mr. Everything here, back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a Blu-ray unboxing for The Fate of the Furious. Now, I know I'm a little late to this, like a couple weeks, but I actually did order this, um, like about a week, about two weeks after it came out, so that's why this is so late. It finally came in the mail. But you know, I wanted to get an unboxing up. This is my first Blu-ray unboxing, so sadly, I don't have anything, any other Blu-ray unboxings to plug, but Let's just jump right into this, so, because I want to make this quick. So, you know, The Fate of the Furious, pretty nice. I like the slope cover. It's nice and glossy. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's nice, but the um, thing a lot of people are complaining about, as you can see here, so the cold inside and unlocks an extended director's cut on, on digital only. And I don't get that. I don't know why. Maybe just, you know, universal or whatever. But as you can see at the back, it says, use your cold inside to unlock extended edition only on digital and then HD picture and theater quality pretty much the same thing and I actually have one other Fast and Furious movie which is Fury 7 also the extended cut like most of these Fast and Furious movies the extended cut is usually not much more it's just a couple extra scenes so you know I'm not really looking for much there but yep I got the Fury 7. It's pretty much the same. Obviously, I didn't do a Blu-ray unboxing for this because this is my first Blu-ray unboxing, The Fate of the Furious. So, I mean, if you guys want to see this real quick, you know, it's not a special. Just same universal, you know, whatever. I actually already used that code, by the way. So, just in case you guys wanted that, I already used it. Um, so, yeah, here's the back. And then... You know, you can unlock with iTunes, and I do have an iPhone, so I'll be doing that. I already got it connected. But yeah, I really like this slipcover. It's nice and glossy. It's pretty cool. So let's jump right into this. And just talking about the Fast and Furious franchise, you know, this is dumb. It's silly, you know. And when I went to go see this movie, I got what I expected. You know, it's dumb. It's silly. You got submarines with cars. You know, it's just, it's gotten dumb. But I like how it has gotten, though, like... Because the first few movies were so bad and boring. And then as soon as they introduced Rock and Fast Five, it's just gotten way better. Anyway, let me read off the bonus features for you guys. So you have the Cuban spirit in, in the family, car culture, all about the stunts, extended fight scenes, feature read and commentary by director F. Gary Gray. So that's pretty cool. Typical Universal. Um, but yeah, just talking about it, you know, it's just dumb. You know, it's just a fun franchise. You know, the fifth one, I think, is probably the best in the way that it introduced the Rock character, which he's changed his whole franchise. Like, he literally has. He's made it so much fun. And, you know, the sixth one, I think, was pretty good. But then seven, you know, it just really got silly. But, you know, obviously this one does have Paul Walker in it because of his tragic death. But, um, you know, seven I thought was fun, too. But, you know, they're jumping out of planes in that one. You know, it's just, it's gotten so silly at a point, but, you know, what can you expect? It's the Fast and Furious. Don't go into these movies expecting logic or anything, like, involving anything. Because, <laughs> you just, no, it's not realistic at all. But it's just it's a fun movie, you know, and that's why I wanted to get it. I don't have the other movies, because I'm probably going to wait till Fast and the Furious 20 comes out so I can get the whole pack. But I just got these two, because, you know, just why not? I like rewatching the movies. Anyway, let me um, open this up. Get the digital out all right so right here you got your digital code you know it's pretty simple it's always the same thing you know universal whatever but it's two of them so you have the original one which who would use that let me focus you got the original theatrical cut and then get the extended so just use the extended code why not um so yeah there's that in the back you know just a flyer for you know to download it so there's the digital and then i don't know what this is like some other rewards as a gift you get a free movie and more so that's pretty cool if you sign up with universal you know and with the email updates or whatever so that's pretty cool and it has the whole collections on the back pretty cool with all the cool little slip covers i believe these are the steel books i believe the exclusive steel books i'm not sure though but yeah, they have like all the numbers on the side of them, as you guys can see. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. So, yet again, same thing, Universal. So I wanted to make this quick. This video is probably only be like five minutes or so. So, yep. Typical Universal, silver, 
and the DVD is like a light purplish blue. So that's it. So that's pretty much what you guys get inside. I know this is late. I promise this will not happen again, especially with big releases like this. When Guardians comes out in a few um, weeks here coming up, I'm definitely gonna get an unboxing out for that. I'm not gonna be late on that. I'm um, probably gonna get that opening day, um, August 22nd, I believe Guardians Volume 2 comes out. Yeah, it's pretty nice, you know, it's a fun franchise, it's dumb, it's stupid, but it's like, what do you expect? I love the slipcover, nice rainbow effect. Uh, but yeah, it is tragic to see, you know, this franchise without um, Paul Walker, it is sad, but, you know, and it did kind of feel like we were missing something in this movie. I couldn't exactly point it out, but now I did, Paul Walker. But, you know, it's, it's nothing special, you know, it's just a fun movie fun franchise it's dumb it's stupid but you know it's fun it's not special it's pretty cool but yeah there's you guys on um, blu-ray unboxing for the fate of the furious if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to like and subscribe check out my other videos like i said i will plug some unboxings but this is my only unboxing i got to my name so i don't have any other things to um plug but you know check out my other videos i'll put them at the end of this um uh, video um and have a great rest of your day. Bye.